Hi everyone, I am Koshik Das. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today we are going to learn how can we calculate reliability by using KR21 formula. So let's get started. Dear student, a few months ago I made a video on a CUDA regression formula of reliability. In that video, we saw how to calculate reliability by using KR20 formula. But in this video, I am going to show how can we calculate reliability by using KR21 formula. So, okay, uh, you can see the uh, worksheet here. Uh, last time I used this worksheet and this time I using the same worksheet. But before we start, we need to know some basic concept about KR20. Kudar Richardson formula KR20. KR21 requires that the investigator must have the items analysis worksheet ready before him and only then he can compute the reliability coefficient. This is become because the formula requires a knowledge of the typical value proportion of correct answer of each item. As such, the computation of the reliability coefficient through KR20 involves a considerable amount of work. Therefore, another formula has been suggested in which total summation PQ has been substituted by other term. The use of KR21 does not demand the item analysis worksheet. The information needed for KR21 is the mean of total test score, ST of the total score and number of items in the test. The KR21 formula is in fact the simplification of KR20. Okay. So, here's the last uh, previous videos worksheet. Okay. And here's the formula of KR20. N by N minus 1, 1 minus N P bar into Q bar by variance of uh, total score. So uh, here we use ASD, uh, same. Achha, okay, the small n, small n number of items, uh, variance of the score on the test, x o ch raw score, individual responses, x square, square of individual responses, n capital N, total number of students or examinee, p bar o ch is equal to the average of correct proportion to each items and q bar is the average of the incorrect proportion to each items. So go back to our worksheet. Step 1. Calculate mean of total score. So mt equal to summation capital X by capital N. Summation X is uh, 67 and N total number of examinee is 10. Okay. So, equal to 6.7. Next, calculate P bar. Okay. So, P bar MT divided by small n. Small n represents the number of items. Okay. So, MT 6.7 and uh, small n 10. So, 0.67. Next, calculate Q bar. So, 1 minus P bar equal to 1 minus 0 0.67 is uh, 0 0.33 okay so now p and q bar so 0 0.67 into 0 0.33 equal to 0 0.22 okay so let's calculate the reliability of the test so kr21 small n means number of items the so number of items is 10 so 10 by 10 minus 1 uh, bracket 1 minus n hoche 10 okay, into pq 0 0.22 by 
variance of total score is uh, 4.20 okay 4.20 so 10 by 10 minus 1 is 9 so 1 minus 10 into 0 0.22 is 2.2 .2 by 4.20 okay so 10 by 9 1 minus 2.22 2.2 divided by 4.20 is 0 0.52 so 10 by 9, 9 is 1.11 into 1 minus 0 0.52 is 0 0.48 so 1.11 into 0 0.48 is 0 0.53 so answer is 0 0.53 where we can see uh, k are 21 formula money how can we calculate reliability by using KR21 formula? So, dear students, in this video, I try to show how can you calculate reliability by using KR21 formula. I hope you like this video and I hope you enjoyed watching this video. And please subscribe my YouTube channel. Thank you.